friends, welcome back to Good Game Grabs. This is mini series episode two, where we're going into our Goodwill bins and St. Vincent de Paul bins, looking for cheap, cheap, cheap media to trade up for hopefully a grail in the video game realm. We'll see what happens. But it is a 10 a.m. rotation. I got my Ikea bag. I've got my gloves. The other one's on the floor right now. So let's, uh, let's hop into it. It's about time. It is crazy in here this morning. Did get the Titanic soundtrack, which is good for the booth. X-Files VHS, good for the booth. This WWF CD is interesting. I've never seen one of these CDs, so that's cool. And then Sealed Blues Brothers. It looks factory sealed, so I'm pretty happy about that. We'll see how that turns out. The records are pretty light, so I'm considering bringing those as well into our little uh, fund here, but I'm not seeing anything good today rather but I think in the future we definitely might try to bring uh, yeah kind of look cool at first we might try to bring some stuff in now huh that's interesting old NRA hmm let's look this up sometimes they research sometimes they don't but they had seven dollars and 37 cents on this uh, homeland DVD so we'll go ahead and uh, look this up I'll just maybe see. I have a good feeling about it. And then also, right here, these Pokemon books will go great in the booth for a few bucks. I was thinking to myself, if I find game finds in the process of this mini series, it's just a bonus. And we found my fitness coach. I can't believe it. It's actually complete. Yes. Country music's on a huge resurgence right now, so we're going to take Garth. It is in there. So we got a little bit of homework to do. We got a couple, I don't know, we just got some random DVDs that we're gonna scan. A little bit of homework on like this NRA thing and yeah, just a couple, you know, another workout thing just to see if it's if it's worth it. Uh, beach body stuff obviously is always questionable, but if we can sell it, you know, on another platform, we'll take it. So yeah, we got a little bit of homework to do. Well, let's get to it. I honestly can't remember if we've had a higher price book than this on the on the channel, but this little Star Wars Crimson Empire Saga, it is a little rough. It's got some little goop right here, but I think it'll clean off. I'm not 100% sure, but on our little Book Scouter app, we can sell it right now for 15 bucks, and I'm considering that not too bad, considering we're going to pay about 50 cents for this thing, so I'm pretty happy on this. Um, it's definitely something that i thought about bringing to half price books but i think maybe the condition isn't good enough for them they are kind of picky about what they take so this one might be one that we sell online all right this run yielded no blu-rays yet again but i feel like we got a pretty decent stack to take to half price books we got the best of eric clapton clean disc on that we got the homeland i looked up comps on ebay and they were pretty decent for free owns uh, same thing with the WWE uh, little theme music here, so I thought that was cool. And then of course our Garth Brooks, which just needs a little cleaning. The uh, the Eric Clapton does need a new front case. It's it's biffed right there for sure. So we'll just go ahead and grab one off another CD. And then this is our little basically booth pile. Uh, the Sealed Blues Brothers didn't have a lot of comps for this exact cover. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw it in the booth. Uh, hopefully somebody finds some value in it being sealed. I think it's I think it's still cool. Blue, Blues Brothers is uh, super iconic. So, I mean, how can you not love John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd together? A uh, little Titanic theme uh, song, just a good four or $5 game there in My Fitness Coach. And then of course the Pokemon book on, this, on the bottom. And then this is the big question mark. I'm gonna try to sell it through the app that we use. I will update you guys. Uh, if you guys have used the app that I previously mentioned in the other clip, let me know. Uh, again, maybe gonna try to get that gunk off of there or my, I might just leave it and just sell it as is. We'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, y'all, $5.15 later, feeling pretty good about our little haul today. 
again, the book, if we sell it, I mean, even if it's as is, we should be able to recoup all of that money. But today we're gonna go to the other uh, Half Price Books location. We have a couple Blu-rays that were also hiding around the house that we forgot to take on the initial. So we'll go ahead and go in there, see what we can get for them at that location. Also show you guys some of the grails that we're looking at. Okay guys, we are outside of the other Half Price Books location in our city. And this one, for sure, is the one that has the good stuff, the good grails that we are possibly going after. Uh, I, I know I got mixed up on the locations in the last episode. I do apologize about that, but this is absolutely the one. Uh, we also have our trade fodder here. Uh, we've got an Elvis CD, ZZ Top. We have a couple Blu-rays. These are the only things that we didn't pay for. This These came from my friend Chris. Shout out to Chris for these two. But let's just say that we paid for them uh, around 25 to 30 cents per item. Like I said, guys, this one's actually slightly heavier. This might be like around 50 cents but uh, we've also got some Garth Brooks we just got today Eric Clapton we got today the WWE we got today the Homeland we got today and finally I'm gonna see if they take the Star Wars book even though it's got the little goops on there like I said uh, earlier I have a feeling they will not take this I'm gonna clean it up real quick <laughs> I have a feeling they won't take this book because of the goops on there but you know we can try if not we're gonna sell it through the app like I said though um, so with that being said, we're about 50 cents into the book. Uh, we're about 30 cents into each thing here. So I will report back with some uh, some math on what we sold and uh, how much profit we got. Alrighty guys, I have the loose versions of both red and blue, but these are definitely some grails right here. Uh, this is barring that they are real. I mean, we would take a very close look at them. There's also a Super Mario Brothers complete back there. That would also be definitely a grail. Uh, they have some Cardboard Genesis stuff down here. Uh, definitely am going to look at that. Uh, Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation 1. Definitely going to look at that. Uh, but there's, oh yeah, also the Sonic and Knuckles cardboard version. So good. Uh, we're definitely going to take a look at all of those and work towards one of them. Hopefully they'll all stay here by the time the, this ends. But yeah, this is definitely some good stuff to look forward to. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what, what grail you guys would put on your list of stuff to trade in. Okay, they totally got some more Genesis games since the last time I was here. I don't have either of those. I think I have both of those, the Fantasia and the Sonic 2 there, but also, also the Pikachu DS. Oh, so good. We might end up getting that too. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, there's some pretty decent consoles here. GameCube down there. They've got the Game Shark even over there, which is really cool. The Stardew Valley Guidebook, which is going for 80 bucks. That's so wild. But uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out. Um, this, I, f I just feel like they always have really good quality at this location as far as like grails of games. Okay, guys, right off the bat, I regret taking that Star Wars book in there. I really do. Um, hold on. The buddy is like in between my legs. Okay. $4.50. Not happy. Not happy at that one. Um, the only redeeming factor there is that we got the Blu-rays for free. Again, thank you to Chris. So that, that did save us. But even with, uh, even with, counting those as bought, we were $3.10 into it. So we literally made only $1.40 in profit towards our uh, towards our goal. Again, guys, I mean, we, 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 we could knock off, you know, 50 cents uh, because we didn't pay for the Blu-rays, but, you know, it's only 50 cents. So that run definitely was not great. I think as far as the book goes, I think we got so little for it because of the condition of the book. I really think we would have been way better off selling it to a bookseller, you know, and just getting, you know, maybe 10 to 15 bucks. Um, but again, this mini series is involving the half price books. I want to have a physical location that we can go to where we can trade in physical items for other physical items that we really, really want. Um, I just think it's cool that we get to kind of explore the value of books 
as we're going along. It's something that I wanted to do uh, for a dedicated episode, and we will do that as a dedicated episode. I mean, I've talked about this time and time again. We have book resellers at our Goodwill bins that do it almost every day. So they they have to be on to something there. Uh, they have to be making money and we're going to find out, you know, how uh, basically, or, or at least find out how to make comparable money like they do. Uh, but anyway, so that was kind of a little folly, kind of sucks, but I'm going to go ahead and add the totals up here um, to our, our, our grail fund. And, uh, you guys let me know down in the comments down below, you know, if I should keep trying for books or, or not. Um, I mean, again, you know, the, the, the app said that book could have been, you know, 10 to 15 bucks, depending on the condition. They probably gave us like a buck if that. So <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the content today. Hope you enjoyed the mini series so far. Again, guys, hit that sub button if you want to keep viewing more of that. Like the video if you like the video, and we'll see you later on the next grab.